David from Dash Off Road and this one we're talking about wheels and how big a wheel can you fit or tire should I say to a Tank 300. We'll quickly show these off because I'm a bit excited like I have gone for the method 318s in gloss black uh, and a 295 70 18 Geolander in a they call this an AT XD which is a bit of a tre different tread pattern um, I'd say it's not the quietest one in the world but we'll talk about that a bit more later but how good does that look with the the black wheels basically following the accents of the car of the steps the roof rack the whole bit you can imagine what this is going to look like with black bar work it's going to look awesome if you're watching uh, this channel for the first time uh, go back a couple of videos and have a look at where I said uh, tank how far can we go with it that was the one uh, where we tried on uh, the 33 inch tires and yeah they fitted up quite nice that was a plus 40 offset but personally for me I wanted something a bit more extreme so plane comes over at the wrong time hey? so <laughs> we've gone for um, a bigger tire 29 a uh, 295 which is a 34 point three inch tire i believe um and i've gone for a plus 18 offset so um I've, I've achieved the exact look that i wanted to be honest we'll walk around to the back of the car so we can see that stance no i haven't put the spare on the back because i don't trust it hanging on the door we'll we'll talk about that in another video but that stance looks good <laughs> looking down the the edge of the car i'll try and get it exact ever so slight amount of poke not much it's basically the treads covered in some states that's fine other states you not have to have any of the tire just a fraction out um you know on the ground road conditions plenty of clearance i might even put the light on for this one heaps of clearance there not so worried at the front though um kind of it's another story heaps of clearance at the back um we will be lifting this car so but upper control arms, I think, generally bring the ball joint. Well, they do, they bring it forward. Um, but we are ever so close. It does actually kiss in there. So we're gonna get the light in there for you to see. Oh. Whether it come up on camera, I'm not sure, but I can. I know on full lock, you can hear the tread biting the plastic and that'll either wear off or it will resolve itself somehow. This isn't the perfect tie, but it's as far as you would want to go on a stock vehicle. You know what we're gonna do next, right? <laughs> it's time to pick it up with a forklift because I wanna see if it's gonna to touch the inner guard, um, you know, in a simulated full drive scenario. So this is what we wanted to see. Basically, when we lift it up with a fork, I wanted to see how it tucks and whether the tire's gonna hit the inner guard. Up we go, keep going. We'll do it until the front wheel comes off the ground. Keep going, keep going. Oh, we're getting close. Dude, it's up there. Oh, the back wheel's off the ground. <laughs> All right, come down an inch. Shows how stiff the chassis is. Leave it there for a sec. Just gonna do a walk around. Obviously a forklift operator in high vis, so this is all safe. Um, she tucks up nice. For a dead stock car, I reckon that's pretty good. Let's have a look in here. So. My shadow's in the way. Sorry again, I'll put the light on. See if this helps at all. Don't know. Like up here, I can fit my hand. Oh, it's rubbing my hand. I could fit paper through there. And there's gap at the back, no problems. Here's, I can't get my hand through. I could probably fit a piece of paper through there, but not my fingers. That's how close it is. But that's, again, I think that's as far as you can go. All right, let's test the front out and hope that the planes go away. Lift her up, Westy. Still going, still going. We'll keep an eye on this back left, uh, back right wheel. Yeah, we're still good. Imagine if we flipped a brand new car. Keep going. Uh, and we're close. Keep going. Gee, it's got a stiff chassis on it. Yep, hold her there. Back wheel's off the ground. Just drop it down a centimetre. Yeah, that shows how good this chassis is. And you can see underneath, it's a very like strong chassis. Now, 
Oh, look at that. It's basically, I think it's got to the bump stops and held it there. I've got a tire all the way around. No problem at all. Is the light on? Well, you have to trust me. I can fit my hand all the way around, no problems. Maybe on um, full lock would be a different story. But yeah, bump stops are allowing the tire to be that big. Winner, winner. She squats. <laughs> Look in there. Um, yeah, that's gonna rub. Ooh, that's gonna rub. There's no paper going in there. Okay, the bump stops didn't save this one. That's going to be doing some plastic rearranging. It means no, no four wheel driving until we get a lift on this baby, which is definitely on the cards. But I'm happy how <laughs> oh, that's tucking. That looks, that looks awesome. There you go, that's pretty much the planned outcome there. I knew it was gonna to touch a little bit, it'd be a miracle if it didn't, but um, we've got a fix. So 285's beautiful, 295's maybe a tad too far on a stop lift. Questions, I bet you're gonna ask, oh, is it a slug now? This is where I was most surprised, I drive it home last night. Just, I think because it's got so many gears, the eight speed, and um, uh, the turbo just kicks in, I haven't really noticed. I'm sure it's using more fuel, but I haven't noticed much like loss in power or throttle sensitivity. The steering wheel's a bit funny because it's got um, like electronic power steering and it's always trying to overcome the bigger tires. Uh, so all of that, you know, nonsense where it tries to keep in its own lane and control the steering wheel, I've turned all of that off and it's back to being just like a normal sort of car now. Um, and speedo, so at 100 k's an hour on the dash, I was reading 104, I think it was 105 on my um, um, on my phone GPS app, so that's changed a little bit as well. But the fact that it still drives, the tyres are obviously more firm than the factory ones because I can notice the car is more rigid. But um, yeah, if you're questioning putting bigger tyres on this and you don't care about fuel economy, I just do it because it's awesome. It looks cool, doesn't it? Alright, so there's your little snipper of um, what we're modifying next. Of course, if you like this stuff, uh, press subscribe. Probably more importantly, go over to the Facebook uh, Modified Tank 300 Facebook group and you can see the progress of this car and many other cars and builds that are happening. Um, next on the list, I think oh, it'll either be lift, we're trying to get some parts organised for that, or it might possibly be, um, actually very well maybe exhaust next. Um, and I wouldn't mind putting up a video about the the five things I hate about this car. I love a lot, but there's a few things I want to pass on that I hate. So, um, yeah, I'll see you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.